Hey guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I have another plan with me video. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and do a quick recap of last week. This was featuring the pause paper sticker set for August as well as some of my custom stickers. Again, everything will be linked down below. I didn't really fill much in in the reminder set. I put in one thing and then I didn't even complete it. And then I did cover up that water spot with the post-it stickers from Pause Paper. And then I did have a lot of stuff going on for work, but I did manage to squeeze in some blog posts as well as some YouTube videos. And this week I actually filled in my hydrate stickers and food. And I did have rehearsal pretty much every single day to include Tuxes and Tails Gala on Friday. So now that we're done with last week, let's move on and we are now in September. Yes, we do have one more day of August, but we are moving into September and I don't really put much in the month calendars other than I did mark the opening nights of Sherlock and Love as well as my birthday, which is the day before and two bills that I'm usually taking care of. And then we're off to this week. So this week I have a lot of stuff going on for work, for rehearsal, and we've got family coming in this weekend for Labor Day weekend. So there's tons of stuff going on right now. Okay, so before we get started, I obviously have to remove the stickies and I'm actually keeping them in order just off camera so that I know what goes to what day so I can stay organized. But before we can start doing that, we need to get our stickers. And as you can see, I now have a second sticker book. I actually filmed a video on how I put together my sticker books and then I did also do a little bit of a overview of my old sticker book. I did talk about it in a previous video, but I figured I keep all the stickers together and talk about them. And this week we're going back into pause paper again. I do have two pause paper September kits, but this time I'm gonna use the one on the left, which has more like pinky colors while the other one has more green colors. Obviously they both have purple in them for the month of September. And then I did realize that they do have header stickers and a few checklist boxes, but not complete. And they do have decorative stickers, but I do like to have more checklist boxes. So I am gonna use some of my generic stickers. I didn't do a custom weekly spread like I normally do. Instead, I'm just gonna use the checklists I have from this set and then take anything extra that I need from my own personal generic sticker set. It's in the general section on my Etsy store. So I have these general primary and pastel checklist boxes, as well as some general hydrate stickers from the bottom bar because her stickers don't have bottom bar stickers. Don't match between the two sets, but they're close enough. So here I'm gonna cut out what I need. I'm not gonna cut everything. I'm just gonna cut out the exact number of hydrate stickers that I need and the exact number of checklist boxes so I used two from the purple, which are the primary set, two from the pastel set of lilac, and then three of the salmon color also from the pastel set. And then I used checklist boxes. I did get one purple and two salmon, again, primary and pastel. And then now I have a total of seven checklist boxes and seven hydrate stickers. And of course I did use my paper cutter to cut them out, but to make this video a bit shorter, I went ahead and skipped over that step, but I will link the products in the down bar. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and white out the bottom section. Last week, I used labels to cover that up, but I started noticing that I was hoarding paper whenever I was using that. So for me, it's just easier to just throw away the paper strip so it doesn't look like I have trash sitting on my desk and just use white out which I ended up getting at Target, but I think the ones on Amazon were actually cheaper, so I'll link those down below as well. As for her header stickers, they were actually like this gradient effect from this like deep pink to a dark purple. And so I just followed the pattern that hers came in. And then since I had four of her checklist boxes, I actually just alternated these. And then I took my colors and then just laid them out in between as well. And then I added the YouTube headers again in the same order as her stickers came to line them up with the checklist boxes. 
Then after I added that, I went ahead and put my hydrate stickers in the down bar alternating colors. I do have the salmon colors every other one and then I had the dark purple on the inners and then the lilac on the outer. And then I'm super OCD so then I also split the colors of the checklists. So then I had the deep pinks split by a purple and then the light pinks on the outside. Then I took these decorative stickers and put them on days where I knew I didn't have a ton of things going on like appointments or anything crazy like Tuesday I didn't have rehearsal and Saturday and Sunday other than rehearsal which is going to go in the YouTube box. I didn't really have anything going on during the day so I figured I'd decorate that and put my weekend sticker in. Then I went to my Happy Planner sticker book and I took this Make It Happen sticker and I was going to put it on the sidebar and then I realized I really didn't like the green and yellow thing going on on the side because it didn't go with the purple so I decided to use this glittery washi tape which if you guys are observant you guys probably noticed that this is not in the final design and I am actually going to keep all the footage in here to show you what happened. Essentially. I cut down this washi tape, got it all sized up, and I added it, and then I started decorating the sidebar. I used a ton of stickers to decorate this sidebar. And at first, it was super cute. I was pretty impressed with it. I was really excited to use all of my decorative stickers that I got from Paws Paper and put them on the side. But as you guys can see, the stickers aren't really sticking to glitter. Glitter doesn't really have a really good surface to adhere to. So the stickers were sticking up. They weren't staying down and it was really annoying. And then I decided to just go ahead and move forward, ignore it. I also noticed the 31 on August was still in that yellow and it didn't match. So then I decorated it with another sticker. And then I started putting down some flags for some significant events and then teardrop stickers for my rehearsals. And I decided to start putting the rehearsal schedule in the YouTube section. Because essentially, if I have rehearsal, I'm not doing anything for YouTube. Because my entire evening is taken up by rehearsal for Sherlock and Love that there is no time for YouTube. So instead of just it being a YouTube section, it's pretty much like an evening section. So really, the morning, day, night thing kind of still fits. But because I had these custom stickers made anyway, and they were made way before I was cast in this play, I figured... I'll just put it in the YouTube section. And then I'm just filling in my rehearsal schedule. I filled in the time and date that my brother-in-law and his wife are gonna be coming and staying with us. I started marking down important meetings for work. The biggest reason why I do this is because it lets me know like I have to be into work by nine o'clock or I have to be into work by eight o'clock. This at least tells me what my day is going to look like and which building I need to work in because I actually have two different offices in two different buildings. So if I know where my meetings are, then it will determine which office I'm going to go to. And so this is very helpful for me as far as like commuting and planning out my day. And then of course Tino is doing media on Sunday, so I always like to mark that on my calendar so that I know which mass he has to go to. So this Sunday he's doing 4.30 mass. So then I have my little laptop sticker for media, but I decided to decorate the little sticker that I made before I put that down. And then I also wanted to just kind of add some little separation lines for my meetings so I can really see like, okay, I have three significant meetings on these days. And then for all of the rehearsal days, I decided to use my music stickers. They're either music notes or treble claps or like quarter notes, eighth notes, things like that. Really like them, I just put them down. And then I started filling out my to-dos of things that I know I have to do this week, like laundry, groceries, things like that. And then of course I'm adding my stickers to those and then filling out the days that I don't have rehearsal to do some YouTube stuff. So I'm actually filming this on Monday, doing the voiceover on Tuesday. Hi guys, and this video will probably go up on Wednesday. So here's the fun part. So I decided that I really didn't like that my sidebar was not adhering properly. So I decided to tape it down with some washi tape and then I tried to brace them by folding it over into the calendar side, but then I decided, hmm, I really don't like how it looks. So then I decided, okay, maybe I can just take it off and reuse it. 
yeah, no, reusing it totally didn't work because half of these stickers, actually all of these stickers are permanent stickers. So then they just started ripping and then it just ripped and it was a total disaster. And then at this point I turned off my camera and I spent some time trying to remove that glitter washi tape. As you can see, it did not remove very well. There's still like adhesive stuck to the page. So I decided, okay, crap, we're just gonna have to cover it up. So I decided to take more of my skinny washi tape and use some coordinating colors, the lilac pink, and then I ended up using like this magenta-like shade, which doesn't really go with all the colors, but I didn't have like a purple washi tape per se, so I figured this was like the closest thing I had to just cover up the sidebar, which kind of made me sad. I know a lot of people like to put down washi tape on their sidebar and their down bar, but I actually like to use the sidebar for a reminder, so I was kind of like sad while I was doing this. And then this striped washi tape is actually from Michaels. And there was a bit of overhang, so then I just trimmed the ends and then folded it over. Luckily, since the previous page is the month calendar, I really didn't care that there was overhang. And then I was just really sad about this whole washi tape deal so then I decided to cover it up with some decorations again from Paws Paper just putting down some stickers wherever so that it wasn't so just straight up washi tape <laughs> and then I decided to write into the sticker and make it happen like the original sticker was and then I added another one that says you got this so that is it for my planner. This is totally different than anything I've done in the past because normally everything's super coordinated and I usually like to have the reminder list on the side for like general reminders and to-dos, but you know, people make mistakes and things just don't work out sometimes. And the craziest part is that it was all captured on video. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just putting together my thumbnail and that is it. I wish I could have done more. I wish I had more time to coordinate colors, but I really didn't have time last week to make a customized weekly spread. So I really wanted to just utilize my generic stickers that I have and use the pause paper stickers. And then of course my Libby and Co stickers. I love those accented stickers to mark the music notes and the shopping cart and the washing machines and the media stickers. Like, I think overall I really like the colors. Do I think it's really well coordinated? Meh. I probably could have done better, but under the circumstances of me having rehearsals almost every single day and having very limited time to film and edit, I figured this was actually a pretty good job. And like I said, I really do like the colors. I will say that you can tell which stickers are my stickers and which ones are hers because on my stickers, since I used the paper cutter, they were not cut very evenly and in some cases I cut them too small so they didn't fit the boxes quite right. So in the future I'll either use an X-Acto knife or use scissors and just use the paper cutter for like big cutting, paper cutting funness. Yeah, anyway, it's getting late. Can you tell? My words are getting rambly and I'm not making any sense. So now that this is over, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, make sure to thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram at planwithfbtb. And of course, use the hashtag planwithfbtb if you guys want to tag me in any of your planner pictures and I will repost them and share them on my Instagram. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty.